hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today, Rick Schumarket, the CEO of Pressure Biosciences, um, with some exciting news. Now, you have been working on a new piece of equipment for a while. Tell me about it and what makes this so special. Sure, thank you, Jane. <laughs> uh, we are a life science tools company. We make instruments that are used by researchers all over the world to help them facilitate and get out of cells the proteins, the DNA, and the other molecules that they study, looking for cures, looking for preventive strategies. We've had uh, three instruments uh, on the market now for about five years and one of them for seven years. The one for seven years, uh, we, we've had uh, several key opinion leaders recently give us some good advice on how to improve this. It hasn't been really improved from the time it came out. So we went to work about a year ago and we developed an entirely new system built around the first system, the, our number one selling system, but it can do more samples, it can do them less expensively, and it can get more out of the cell. This is an instrument that we call the 2320 Extreme. We unveiled it about a month ago at a major scientific meeting and uh, to a very, very good reception okay. from people. So the reception has been quick and very positive. You've it already got some sales on this. Yes, uh, well, we, we announced today in a uh -huh. press release that we've shipped the first five units. Uh, so we unveiled it last month and we've shipped the first five units this month. One went to our distributor in China, who's very excited about it for the Chinese market. One went to a, a major Ivy League research center okay. that is known for its research, particularly in cancer and other areas. And the other three went to Australia, hmm. to a research center in Australia. And there are some exciting things going on with the White House's initiative on the cancer moonshots. It was announced in January, but this device and your company could play a role in that as well. Yes, that's, that's, that's very exciting for uh -huh. us. Uh, last week, uh, Vice President Biden announced uh, three memorandum of understandings with Australia, with about th four different cancer research centers in Australia. One of the research centers is the Children's Medical Research Institute, which is the center we're working with. There's an initiative there called ProCan. They are working at ProCan to accelerate the discovery of new drugs and new therapies and preventive strategies for cancer. They're gonna be testing 70,000 tumor samples over the next seven right. years. They have decided to use our system as part of that testing. And we're very excited about that because the three shipments that we made of our new system went to ProCan at the Children's Medical Research Institute. Now you've also got a partnership with Cyax, so tell me about that. Well, Cyax is part of the Danher Group, which is a $60 billion plus holding company. It holds a lot of very, very good, elegant uh, life science companies. Cyax is the leading company in the world in selling an, an analytical instrument called a mass spectrometer. The mass spectrometer is the gold standard in using to, uh, by scientists to use to understand proteins, their structure, and we did a co-marketing agreement with them a few months ago. And together, uh, the system we call, or the method we call, PCT SWATH. The PCT comes from our system, pressure cycling technology, and SWATH is the name of their system for the mass spectrometer. So it's like putting one plus one and making it equal three, in our opinion. Our system sits in front of theirs. The PCT SWATH is the method that will be used by the ProCan group when they do their studies uh, in Australia. Okay. so. How, how do you see the future of just cancer research and, in particular, how your new device, Extreme, fits into that? Well, you know, a cell is made up of, of as many as 10,000 different proteins. Hmm. And we don't get them all out when we break them open. And in fact, we're using methods that I used as a scientist uh, 100 years ago or so. Oh, okay. Quite, not quite that long, but a long, <laughs> long time ago. But uh, yeah, we get the point, right? Yes, we get the point. <laughs> We need new methods. We need to get uh, you know, garbage in, garbage out, the old axiom. We need to get as many proteins as possible out of a cell, whether it's a normal cell or a cancer cell, because we're looking for a needle in a haystack. There are now publications, multiple publications from key opinion leaders and other scientists around the world who have used our system and have said and published and have said, by using pressure cycling technology from pressure biosciences, we get more proteins proteins we haven't seen before in these samples. So that's the, the holy grail. That's the system that we think everyone should be looking at possibly using because if we can get you more needles in a haystack, you have a better chance of finding that needle. And those proteins can be used to come up with treatments? Correct. Okay. Proteins can be, can be looked at uh, targets. We need to find new targets for cancer. You know, this whole thing about personalized medicine or now mm -hmm. called precision medicine mm -hmm. is to try to track down and aim at the target. Okay. And every cancer is different. 
different. We can't just say two people with breast cancer or testicular cancer have the same cancer. They're different. They're, they're the same form of cancer, but they have different targets. So we need to find those targets, and those targets are often proteins. Some of the therapies are proteins. Uh, so what we need to do is hone in on this so that we can find new additional preventive strategies, new drugs, and make them available to more people. And would you ever be able to use the extreme for other illnesses besides cancer? Absolutely. Uh, you know, as a small company, we have to look at what we're doing and, and focus on what we call the low-hanging fruit. Uh, we believe, uh, particularly because of the data that's generated from a number of our clients, we have over 150 clients already. We have over 250 systems already in the field. There's over 100 publications in journals about our system and the advantages and benefits of our system. So we are honing in on cancer because a number of cancer researchers have purchased the system and are using and publishing on the system. However, we are a system that sits in front of other companies' instruments. So no matter what the company is, and no matter what the instrument is, whether it's for diabetes, whether it's for uh, infectious disease, whether it's for cancer, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to break open that sample and get all of the biomolecules, the DNA, the RNA, the proteins, the lipids. These are these amazing biomolecules that hold the answer mm -hmm. to new strategies for prevention and cure. We're the group that can sit in front of these other instruments and we believe do a better job of breaking open a cell and getting them more needles in their haystack. Wow, fascinating. Okay, so if someone wants more information about pressure biosciences or the extreme in particular, how can they get that? They can reach us and go to our website, which is full of information, www.pressurebiosciences.com. And uh, certainly if they can't find what they want there, they're certainly free to give us a call. The number and all the contact information is on the website. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Rick, for joining us today, uh, the CEO of Pressure Biosciences. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation.